All right, folks. Are we ready for another title? I certainly hope so. Ah, lightning and such. So, this game doesn't quite fit. <laughs> it's got a weird resolution, so it's going to be snipped off the top and the bottom. I apologize for that. But it shouldn't be too much of a problem. We should be able to play this regardless. An intriguing title from a Spanish developer, this one. Looking forward to this one. Should be good. Oh, interesting. Apparently, there's also a bunch of Star Trek The Next Generation items in this. What the hell? <laughs> How bizarre. A bunch of codes available. Hmm. Intriguing. Anyway, whatever the case. I want to get this played. I'm trying to find the name of the developer. I, I have difficulty finding it. It's not anywhere. I, I suppose maybe about to might have it. There you go. It's, it's created by Francisco Tellers de Menzes, or whatever his bloody name is. This is the full version. It does say demo, but it is, in fact, the full version. All right, okay. Are we ready for an epic game? I assume so. I certainly hope so. So let's get it done. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. WTF is an epic game. An epic game is supposedly part platformer, part RPG, and part ridiculous joke. So... Let's get it started, shall we, and find out what's going on with Unepic Game. Easy, medium, or hard? Medium is fine. Oh, yeah. Ooh! Do -dum 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 -do -dum -do -dum. That's Take 5 by Dave Brubeck, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm, nice. What do I do? That's a great question. I can press the enter button, that's a start. Pretty much. There you go. The way it should be. Unfortunately, they don't have the rest of the song. I like the rest of the song. In fact, that's the best bit. When it does the little breakdown. <laughs> okay, let me guess. He's gonna go take a piss and then suddenly be sucked into some kind of magical land. Yep. Looks like it's a magical land. Okay. Open and close inventory by pressing the I key. I would love to. There we go. Okay. Equip the Zippo. Ah. Well then. You are very, very small in this game, it would appear. Yes, quite. What else is this? T-shirt and jeans. I assume I am wearing this. Oh, you can unequip. Well, that's just disgusting, quite frankly. Let us re-equip. There we go. Hmm. Could I have a... Ow! Yeah, it's funny how that works. There we go. Problem is solved. Yes, of course. <laughs> Ooh, we actually have a map. Well, it's not much of a map thus far. I say the, the animation quality on the character is really quite nice. I have the lighting effects, but my god, you are tiny in this game. Like, you can barely see your character. He's unbelievably small. Alright. Where are we going? I have absolutely no idea. For obvious reasons. Hmm. Oh dear. <laughs> Did I just die instantly? No, no, it's gone. Never mind. <laughs> well, that sucks for you, doesn't it? Apparently not. All right. Never mind then. <laughs> Some very awesome music going on in the background. So much dialogue! <laughs> Go away. I wish to explore and fight things. You're not letting me do so. Wonderful. There we go. <laughs> the references are not exactly what I would call veiled, let me put it that way. 
Aha, a sword. Uh, let's equip this weapon. There we it's a, it's a little large. It'll do. I do like the art style in this game, actually. I think it is quite nicely put together. Hmm. <laughs> this seems like a really bad idea. Which is why I'm doing it. Give me all of the gold. Horrible things might end up happening later. Horrible, terrible things. Alright, that'll do. Oh, balls. <laughs> well, this didn't work out well, did it? I'm about to die. Well, that was an idiot test, wasn't it? <laughs> Will it let me continue from any stage? Maybe. Oh, it puts me right back here. Oh, god damn it. That's wonderful. I wanted the gold. Yes, okay, right. There's a trap there, right. Was it absolutely necessary? I should have probably pressed the save button. That would have been helpful. There's also a bunch of stuff up here. I don't know what any of it does. Oh, well. Why don't we try heading in a different direction this time? No, there's, no, there's nothing useful. I guess we have to go see the spirit again. It was shiny! I can't help that I've been trained to do these things. I've been a gamer for the last god knows how many years. What, 23 years? I am programmed to pick up shiny. There is no option for me not to do so. Okay, here we go. Da -da -da -da. Yes, possessed by the evil spirit, blah, 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 blah. Let's not pick up the shiny gold because we will die and it will be horrible and such. I should have really seen that one coming. Do. Yes, you can't see all of the menu option at the top, as I said. The, the resolution on this game is very, very weird, and it doesn't properly display. Give me the sword. This is mine. Mine. Mine, mine, mine. There we go. I'm now wielding the sword. Let us not pick up the gold. Don't take any coins, because I will die. There we go. No, <laughs> not happening. It's okay, I learned my lesson. Alright. Let's continue to make our way through here. What shall we find? Oh god, it's a snake! Alright, okay. Well, that's useful information. Apparently stabbing something is particularly effective if it's alive. Splat. Yes, thank you for the reference, damn it. I'd say, this game takes its humour and batters you around the head with it. There was no subtlety here. Ah, a mace. How oh, handy. One assumes this is good against skeletons. Am I right? Hmm. Okay, use the mace against the barrels. Not a problem. There we go. Sorted. We go. Oh, look, it's another one of those things. Snake steaks. No. I don't know. Has anyone ever eaten snake? I have not eaten snake. I think that eating snake would be quite cool, actually. I think it would be quite delicious. I've not had the opportunity to find out, however. What is in the chest? Ooh, short bow. Ranged weapons. Very nice. Yes. That will help. There we go. Pretty seriously nice lighting effects and artwork in this game, I have to say. But when it comes to its its humour, it is very ham-fisted. Hmm. I'm sure. 
Zer oh, come on! It's so obvious, this stuff. Zeratol, good lord. <sighs> Pretty much. I don't know if one expects the dialogue of a Spanish game to be particularly subtle. Probably not. But once again, humor is very much a subjective thing. You can't say, this is not funny. No nothing exists that isn't funny one way or the other. Some guy will find it funny. That I can guarantee. It doesn't matter what it is. Some guy's gonna find it funny. It's, this, to me, is cringeworthy humor, but... To others, it will be goddamn hilarious. It's like, hey, let's break some fourth walls. Hmm. Kind of yes. That would be good. How does one do that? Drag it to the inventory? Yep. Why? Why did that wipe my inventory? God damn. There you go. Set that to one. Two. Three. Things are getting dramatic. Right. Okay, there we go. There's actually nothing to kill me here anyway, never mind. That's neat. I like that. that that's that's nice. The, the way that lighting works in this game is actually quite good, I've got to say. It's fairly impressive. Ow! There are rats and things. Not so great. There we go. Get out the sword. Just everything from... Everything in regards to the art style I'm finding impressive in this game. Which is always nice. It's not that it's fancy or anything like that. It's just... It's effective. It's nicely put together. Alright. Some wonderful slimes and such. It's certainly not an easy game, I tell you that for a fact. You can only take a couple of hits and then you die. Is this thing dead yet? There we go. It is all sorted. Quite enjoying it, though. It's got a lot going for it. One of those. Oh, it's all lit up. I don't know if I like the lighting mechanics. It just it takes a while to get it done, so maybe it just it does seem a little fiddly, I suppose. But it's not exactly a big complaint. Ow! <laughs> I have no idea how to save this game either. If I die here, do I end up going all the way back to the start? Because that would be fairly unpleasant. That would definitely kind of suck. <laughs> The game has never explained how to save, so... No, that is not helpful. Alright. Let's continue onward, shall we? The key of the gardens, which I absolutely do not have. Alright, nice information game. What is it in the dark pa What the Christ? What? <laughs> I see. Let's find out, shall we? Thinking probably not. And Taro Adu- No, oh, my god! <laughs> oh, jeez. Could there, could there be any more references crammed into this game? Like, the entire game is one giant reference. It should now be known as Zeratul. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's the save point. I see. There we go. Thank you. Very much appreciated. That's very nice. <laughs> All right, onward, I guess, in that case. I'm interested in what else is going to be happening in an epic game. Would also love to know what the hell's going on on, that, on the site that says that there's Star Trek The Next Generation items in the game now. God knows where they are. You'll find uniforms of the Federation, Romulan uniforms, Klingon warrior armors, Batleth, the Romulan disruptors, and Enterprise pet that shoves phasers and photon torpedoes. As you do. And there are some Halloween items available as well. These guys have an interesting 
way of developing and updating their game. We should know how much this game costs, by the way. I can tell you that momentarily once I'm not covered in bats. Go on. There we go. The way that they sell this game is weird as well. Really, really weird. <laughs> Basically, it's kind of like pay what you like, only they've got this menu that you can buy from. And it gives you, I think, three. Di there's three different versions. Apparently, the first version may contain bugs. What? I don't even know. And there's a demo available as well, so... <laughs> These guys are off their rockers, in a way. I have to say. It is kind of a fun little side-scrolling, road likey platformy kind of game, though. It's definitely got something going for it. It's entertaining, the combat system is very good, the art style is really nice, the animation quality, for the most part, is really awesome. It seems like it's got a lot to it. Ooh, I have a stabby stabby weapon. Ow! Go on, get over here. They're just a freaking bats. Like I said, I think the only complaint that I've really got about it, aside from the ludicrous resolution, which doesn't even make any sense on anyone's monitor, is the fact that the humor is very much forced. It's like, there's, there's nothing really clever about the humor. Ooh, how wonderful. Can I wear it? No? Oh, okay, I see. Right, it's like a hearthstone. Fair enough. And the, the weird incidental music's kind of odd as well, I suppose. It just appears every now and again for no apparent reason. But overall, though, I mean, Unepic seems like a really nice game if this is the kind of thing you're into. If you're looking for a Castlevania-style game, RPG elements in it. Nice little... Ooh, okay, cool, you can stab with that, fair enough. And I very much say little game because of how goddamn small everything is. I swear, someone's extremely talented with pixel art. Very much so. Oh god. This, no, that was bad. That was bad. I think I should probably use the halo to get back and save the game, and then I can come back to this later. Alright, out we go. How wonderful that is. Give me all my health back. <laughs> Here you go, Zeratul. Oh, Jesus. Whatever the case, yes, that's Unepic Game, and available over at unepicgame.com. There are various ways to buy. There is... I think languages, yes. English, un-English, Spanish, and Polish. And uh, you can pick up a demo for this as well over there if you are so de if you are so inclined. It it is really quite entertaining for what it is. I said it's a bit ham-fisted in places, but the actual game is quite fun to play. So might be worth a look at if you're interested in a Castlevania style of game. My name is Tom Lavisca, you are currently watching uh, WTF Don for the purposes of sponsoring CharityWater.org. That's CharityWater.org. If you do happen to have some spare cash, please do go and donate to them. They have a fantastic cause going on. We'll be back with the next game as quickly as we can, folks. Don't go anywhere.